G'day, Mumbles here, and welcome back to Noobs Let's Play. This is episode 7, and today we're going to build this melon and pumpkin farm that you see behind me. I put some pretty stuff on the outside, but the foundation of the design was done by Il Mango, the genius Il Mango. His new, efficient, simple melon pumpkin farm, which was for 1.14, but it's still going to work just fine for us here in 1.16.4. Uh, the weather's not too great, but we're going to get straight into the tutorial. I've started after I've already built it, and I'll take you back in time now, and we'll have a look at exactly how I got there. I'm not going to show you the skin for the building. I'm just going to show you how to make the actual farm, and you can decorate it however you choose. Whenever we're farming, we always have a, some hydrated land. It goes out four blocks from the water source, and... With this particular farm, we want to do a we want to do a checkerboard pattern with our hoe. So if you just go straight across the center like that, and then just keep that going all the way across. There we go. Simple as that. The next step is getting some melon seeds and some pumpkin seeds. Okay, we're gonna start with our melon seeds in this corner here. And I'm gonna run the melon seeds across to the other corner, just like that. And this row here will be pumpkin, then melon, pumpkin, then melon. So you got melons in each of the corners. Melon. Pumpkin. Melon. Pumpkin and melon in the corner. And then we run our pumpkin seeds. There we go. Our crop is planted. Okay, so now we need to get some observers out. Observers, pistons, any solid block, some note blocks, a bit of light, paper hoppers, don't need that many chests, but it's okay. Better to have too many than not enough. Alright, so we've got all our cut. Oh yeah, you can see that. So, we have a plant, and we want to see when it changes state, so, boom, observer, facing down onto it, and that hole at the back, that's where the charge is going to come out. The easiest way to do this is place the observers, and to see that, I don't know if you can see that square, it's a little hitbox, aim for the top of the hitbox, the pumpkin's going to grow onto, or the melon is going to grow onto one of these bits of dirt that haven't been hoed and the piston's going to come down, boom, and break the pumpkin or melon. Because these are not full blocks, the hoppers underneath will be able to pick up the drops. So the easiest way is to crouch. You get in close, just aim up, and that's how you can place the pistons. Now, the only trick, if you could call it a trick, is a bit like when you're painting a floor. Make sure you don't... You always leave yourself a path to get out. Don't paint yourself into a corner. Here where we have the water, I don't know if you can see it, but I've already put half a slab in the bottom of that just to hold the water in. Hmm. Good. <laughs> I was worried it was, it was flowing out the bottom. If you just aim a light, it could be any light, onto there. I think I put two on it like that. Nearly finished now. We've got our redstone signals coming up. It's going to go into our solid block. It doesn't matter what one. I am going nuts on the andesite. Whenever the the plant changes state, it will charge these blocks. And the way Il Mango gets the 
the charge back down into the piston. He uses no blocks. I don't know why. Actually, he probably <laughs> he probably did tell me in his video, and I forgot. Whatever the reason, it works. It works very well indeed. So I don't, don't question it. You could see one one of the plants grew up a little bit and just changed state then. Of course, once they're fully grown, the stems don't grow anymore, and it's just when the plants um, drop a pumpkin or a, a melon. Right, so these are going to make noise. They're note blocks. <laughs> you can stop that with slabs. Uh, you can put whatever you want. Whoa, whatever you want on top of there. It's going to be night time soon. I'm going to get it ready for a sleep, and then we'll move on to the next step after that. The other thing that Il Mango mentions that we need to do is he goes through and explains that these ones on the corner they just won't get the proper amount of light. I'm not going to be able to reach it from there. So you just need to make sure, however you choose to do it, that you put a light source just on the corners. Yeah. Okay, I've got all those hoppers in. I just put some dirt down to make it easier to, to reach rather than jumping. That would have taken forever. Okay, that is it. The only thing that's left to do now is to make it look a bit better than that and to have a proper storage system as well. Well, thanks for watching. Just wanted to give you a little survival perspective on Il Mango's design there. He has a really good and incredibly informative tutorial. I just wanted to show you how I used the crouch function to place the pistons in particular. A little bit tricky when I first did it. So if that was helpful, leave a like if you like. If not, that's fine too. And hope you have a good day. Hope you have a good evening. Thanks, and I will see you next time. Ah, well that's another video done though. I get confused when I'm making those things. Pretty wet today. Well, I better think of the next thing I need to do. Gotta finish off my trading hall. I also need to probably make some sort of sorting system. Just feel like going inside, but I don't actually have a house. I mean, I've got this one over here, but it's not really a house, is it? It's good enough for a villager, but come on, I should be able to make something a bit better than this. Oh. At least it's dry in here. Need a fire. This should be a fireplace, really, shouldn't it? Don't want the wood to catch on fire there. Hmm. Really need a proper place to just chill out. Watch a bit of telly, do a few odd jobs. Once I get these villages filled up here, I can probably... Yeah, we've got that side done, then I can pull this rack down. I don't like the white stairs, I'm going to have to move those. I didn't realise you were still here. I forgot to press stop and record. Um, oh, well, that's okay. If you made it this far while I was just mucking around then, I need your opinion on whether I should just go straight and try to uh, go and find an end portal next. I mean, the farms are good. I'm liking it, but 
Some elytra would be really good. Maybe I should fight the dragon next week. Just leave a comment. Fight the dragon. Or the other comment you could leave is keep farming. You'll get there one day. Not sure. Not sure what to do. Maybe it's just the weather. Kind of feeling a little bit... A mm, little bit... Uh, sort of thing. Uh, I don't know. Parkour. Practice my sick parkour skills. So the other thing we need to do is uh, get some automatic wheat, carrot and potato farming going. But really all this is for trading and the thing about trading is that if I can find what direction I'm meant to be going in. I've already started trading. Which one is it? This one? So I've got all these I can combine. So what I really need is to either go to the end and fight the dragon. Oh, I just lost that train of thought. So I'm really wondering what I should do next. I'm going to finish this off. I'm thinking of putting a sorting system in here. I also, I also have some chests that are coming down from where the mobs drop over here. And they're coming down here. And that's as far as I've gone. So I kind of need to link these over to a room that I'm making here. So we've got all this glassed off. Ooh, it's a fish trap. But yeah, I want to get all the water out of here. It's the thing about this game, it just so big so many different things you can do you need to sit down and write a plan well this is just a bit at the end which is more like a diary for me i guess you now at this point than it is uh, an informative video for people to watch hmm what's my next move I'm getting itchy feet I want some elytra i to get some guardian a guardian farm and i've got a huge huge project planned it's going to be big and i might even sit it there it's going to take me back all the way to 1979 or something yeah i was alive back then and i'm playing kids games anyone who knows my minecraft knows this is a big kids game too all right well i can't imagine anyone still watching this apart from people who actually know me as a person so if you do know me and you're watching this it's probably because you're one of the people that i love if you're a random person i don't know if you're still watching this that's okay too. That's absolutely fine. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> and I uh, just kind of hope no one sees it. Alright. Adios, amigos.